Um, the universe is six. Is the universe is in infinite? God created the universe. So billions and billions of years old. Well, I guess we saw infinite. I mean, I think you could put a number on it. I don't know the number off the top of my head, but um. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can put a number on it. Or people have tried to put a number on it. If you had to put one on one, a number on it, ballpark. Oh, is it millions, millions, and millions of years? Well, how old the universe is when God created it? There's no specific time because we don't know how old the universe is. Um, if you had to put a number on it. From, I guess from what the scientists say, putting a number on it would definitely be like six billion years old. But that's from what scientists say. There's, in my opinion, we don't have an ult ultimate number of what, how old the universe is, so. Well, that's a, that is a hard question, but we don't really know. It doesn't say in the Bible when um, God created, but when he did create the earth, that was way before us. And, um, that's no one knows how the number on it, so way back. Um, well, I think there's really different, many different aspects of that. A lot of people believe that the Earth is billions of years old, um, but personally, I think that we have a young Earth, um, that it's possibly maybe 6,000, 10,000 years old, um, just because of certain things um, that, I mean, just scientific facts. Um, there's no way it could be billions of years old. Um, well, according to Darwin, more than four, million, four billion million years. Um, according to God, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. There's so many different creation theories that it's hard to pick just one. I really would go with the old Earth theory that it's like really millions of years old and that God like, you know, restored it and you know, built on top of it kind okay. of thing. Very old. I don't know, billions of years, probably? Um, depends on your uh, religious or just, just scientific views. I believe that the, the universe, well, Earth is 4.6 billion years old, and that um, the universe is, I don't know, 10 billion years old or something like that, or maybe a lot older. Don't know yet, really. Older than I am, and very old. If you had to put a number on it, ballpark. 14. 14 billion. <laughs> uh, I would say the beginning of time, I don't know. If you had to put a number on it, <laughs> ballpark. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, that's an infinite number. Pretty much like pi. It just keeps on going. Yeah, just keeps going. I'm going to keep this real short. Now, there's a lot of information out there for and against the literal interpretation of scripture, particularly the creation account. We're not going to take the time today to explore all of them, perhaps another time. But there is one thing I'd like us to consider when it comes to the age of the universe either being thousands of years or millions and billions of years. If we truly believe that there is a God, and this God is the God of the Bible? And if we hold his word as the objective truth for our lives, what does it say about us and our faith if we don't take God at his word? Genesis is very clear. There is only six days in creation. That's it. If we try to bend the truth, if we try to take God's word and make it say something that it's not, it is no longer objective truth that governs our lives, but whatever we think. And when we abandon truth and replace it with man's theories and hypothesis, it is no longer God who is foremost in our lives, but ourselves. Proverbs 14.12 says, There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way to death. If we start compromising the first chapter of the Bible, what's to stop us from compromising the rest of it? Our God is perfect. His word is perfect. And it's time that we start treating it as such. Now this might be hard for some of you to hear, but no one ever said becoming a strong church was going to be easy. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. And 
as always, stay strong.